Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kevin from 230 Films here, and today we're going to be talking about Stranger Things. I noticed a lot in season two, whenever they transition from one scene to another, like this. <laughs> or this. Or this. If you ever go back and rewatch the series, you'll probably notice it a lot more than you did before this tutorial. Anyways, I'm just going to jump right into it. This is a project that I was working on a couple months ago with Remote Area Medical. They're a free dental health clinic. And me being a dental student in Baltimore, I decided to reach out to them. For one of the shots, a woman was giving the speech about we need help and I was transitioning to a shot, a drone shot of the city. This is what it sounds like before I, I did anything to it. We need help. Hey. So I'm going to zoom in a little. By the way, you can do that by holding down alt and then scrolling with your mouse wheel in or out. So right around here, she starts to say help. Um, so that's where I'm going to cut it. So once you've cut the clip where you want the echo out to begin occurring, you're going to take that clip, you're going to drag it down and you're going to add between three and four seconds back to that clip. So what you're going to do is you're going to nest this, uh, name it whatever you want, double click the clip, and now you have an audio clip in its own sequence. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down Alt, click on the clip and drag it down, and um, you're just going to extend this. This second clip is going to be the length of how long you want it to echo out. So for my purposes, I would say six seven seconds is how long I want it to echo for so it's important once you extend this second clip you go up here to effect controls and you drag it all the way to the left uh, essentially making this clip you won't hear anything when you press play and that's important because you don't want to hear anything from this clip you only want to hear from this clip so now you're gonna double click right next to this one um, that's gonna open up keyframing so I'm gonna hold control right around where she says help and I'm gonna keyframe again and I'm just gonna drag that down to zero and all the way to the right that's just gonna fade the clip out so now you can go back to this and what you can now do is shorten shorten the original sequence and drag this back up then you're gonna go to effects type in reverb and there's three different types uh, but for this purposes, you're going to be doing the convolution reverb. You're going to throw that on the clip, go to effect controls, and here under convolution reverb, there's the custom setup. We're going to hit edit, and there's a couple of options here. Um, I've used stuff like endless tunnel. I've used lecture hall. I I've used a bunch of stuff, but let's stick with endless tunnel for now. Or massive cavern is also a really good one. And once you apply the effect, that's basically it. You can exit back out. And also to blend the ring out with your original clip, you can also apply something like a constant gain. And to finish it off, I'm just going to drag this out basically until the next audio sequence comes in. So now this is what it should sound like. We need help. Hey. Nearly a quarter of the people here live in poverty. Unemployment is nearly twice the national average. Thank you guys for joining in. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because I will be coming out with more content this year because I just 
love doing this stuff and I really hope I can inspire you guys to create videos of your own. Anyways, that's all for today. I'll see you all later.